Alan Christian, one of the uh, strategic and top artists here that has some of his work that he's explaining to us and how complex it is. So how, what is the, this right here is amazing. Thank like you. That's the, the one of the most popular. It took me a second to even realize what, not just to realize what it was, mm -hmm. but to realize where that is. Right. Here in Cleveland. Yeah, it's right Playoff Square. Right, right. And that big chandelier there. And so how long does it take for you to do something like that? It all depends on how much wax and how much coloring I'm doing to it. Um, I mean, it could take a couple of days. Sometimes it takes an hour and a half. It all depends on what I'm doing with it. And for these shots here, like this is a over top shot. Yeah, that's a shot I took at the World Trade Center 1982. Are you serious? Yeah, I've been to the World Trade Center 30 times in my life. And this particular day, you know, it was a small camera in 82. Um, it was just the shadows over the city, and who, who knew what this would wow. mean this many years later. It's a very popular photo of mine. I, I, you know, I sell in different forms, obviously. This just happens to be the encaustic wax version. But I have other ones, and I have them in frames, and I, I, honestly, I, I sell a lot of them. That is amazing. I, I can imagine. Like, this is a piece of our history that is gone now. And it really is. Framed, yeah. And you can... You got NFTs? Yeah. Oh, you do? Oh, no, no, I do not. I do not. Oh, I do okay. Not. Okay, no. you are you going to eventually branch out to NFT? I don't know. I, that's I'm, a good thing. It's, it's, it's a thing that's happening, and uh, you probably met Sarah sitting in back with Paul there. Um, okay. she, she's been doing a lot of that. Um, I don't know if she's actually selling them or not yet, but uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. I know it's popular, and people are selling these digital uh, yeah, for a lot of money. Stuff like that, yeah, they're little memories, because honestly, Imagine, like I can imagine how much you're gonna rake up off of just this alone. Here, you got the iconic LeBron James. You have anything that is, can we say it, but anything that's Guardians before Guardians? Uh, you can kind no, of... I do. Oh, you mean the Indians? Yeah, yeah, you yes, said it. You I, said I said it. You said it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a, a photo that's mounted over there that has Progressive Field and the Indians on it. That's wonderful. Yeah, I'm gonna wow. be making more of those coming up. NFT that one. That's definitely a major thing. Um, any like other um, any major project that you have that you specifically want to highlight to to get? Uh, well, I'm I'm, of, I'm of doing something. Can I walk over here? Sure. I'm 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 doing something. But what I'm doing is taking my photos and putting them on canvas, and then in, embellishing. I've taken acrylic paints and adding to the photos and changing it around completely. And I just started doing that in October, and it's been a big hit. Uh, so I've been. Uh, Getting that out to the public. This one right here? Yeah. Well, all of them for that matter. Oh, all of these. Let me yeah, get that. Dude. Well, okay, you, wherever you want, this is the original look. photo of this, and you can see what I'm doing to it. I'm adding on um, to the painting or to the video uh, uh, canvas itself. Uh, same with the red umbrella one here. You can see where I've added all the gold and this golden snow down there. And, you know, we got a, a, a traditional Cleveland shot, which is right here in Tremont. And this is what the photo looks like, but that's what I've changed it into. And my favorite, and the one that's been selling quite a lot lately, this is my third version of it, is a shot that I did at the City Winery in New York City a few years back at a wine tasting. And um, this is my third version of it. Um, I, every version I do is different because I can't possibly recreate the, the uh, paint strokes. Uh, so they're all one of a kind um, on top of my photos. So it's been a really really popular thing because nobody really sees that or does that um, and then you know I just used to sell my photography and still do in, in frames but my one I'm, thing I'm most proud of right now is I just finished this table two days ago so just move that out of the way so that's uh, my new coffee table it is for sale here at the Paul Duda Gallery and it's a, a table that I made and then I, I, I painted the design on top of it and I just put it out uh, last night for the first time, got a lot of feedback, um, a lot of good feedback from it. Uh, but uh, so that one's good. If I sell this one, I'll, I'll try to new, do another one. Also the chair over there. Um, yeah, I did the chair too. That was for me. I found some chairs down in the basement and I uh, took some fabric, uh, uh, some fabric medium to mix it with the paints so it'll, it'll stay on there. And I had two of those, but one of them did sell. So, I'm doing all kinds of different things. And then uh, the last thing I've been doing is I'm making these new vases. Yeah, I still um, these sculptures over Yeah, there. put those out. The sculptures are friends of mine. I, I've got too many. Oh, yeah. 
Um, so these vases here, I just put them out for the first time last night and sold a couple of them. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, but pretty much everything else, well, everything else in this space is mine, except these two sculptures here, which are I'm selling out of my own personal collection. I, I, I own too much artwork. I got to start liquidating. Yeah, these are very nice. Thank you. I love the vases. Like... Yeah, they were, they were a big hit last night. They definitely will. I, I'm, you know, I'm going to come to you for mine for when I buy, you know, Great. Day stuff and flowers for people. That's Great. Yeah, I'm going to keep making them as long as people keep buying them. <laughs> exactly. This is, yeah, instead of going to the Dollar Tree like I normally do. And then and, and just for anybody who doesn't know, the second Friday of every month, they have Walkabout Tremont, where they set up about 30 tents outside with food vendors, but it's mostly people selling art stuff. And uh, it's a lot of fun down here on a great night. Last night, it was in a 70s, beautiful night. We had hundreds of people come to the gallery, which is also a beautiful thing for me. Uh, definitely. I'm going to be here for that next, because I, I got a food vendor truck right next, looking for our stuff. I'm going to make sure we get down here with a oh, uh, smoky barbecue truck. And um, I'm down here and see exactly how people are uh, having the good fun you're speaking about. Sounds great. Well, I appreciate you taking the time talking to me here today. And uh, well, before you go, do yeah. you have any social media things that people can find your artwork? Or yeah, uh, Christensen Photography at, uh, on Instagram. Um, I have a Facebook page, Christensen Photography. Um, those are the two two main ones. I don't really mess with Twitter that much. Right, it's, it's too complicated. Too, it's too much time. <laughs> Way too much to put a Twitter stuff in. Yeah. Out of so Facebook and uh, Instagram. I try to post something on Instagram every day. I don't always pull it off, but I, I try to. I understand how that goes. It's a struggle. Definitely a struggle. Well, it was good coming come here and seeing what you got. Hopefully I can come get what I wanted from you here. All right, beautiful. Good brother. Pleasure, and, man. Uh, this is DJ is a Mark with No Static Radio. This is another great, successful interview. Here is that wonderful chair that I was speaking about. Some of those paintings that were mentioned. That Times Square photo. Um, this is the one I, I personally am interested in. It's just a lot of nice art in here. Um, Alan did his thing. This is the table that he was speaking about. Um, some of those other pictures here. That was framed. There's that time. Square one. Um, very nice artwork here. Here's that 9 11 picture for everyone that would be looking for it. Hopefully, we can get some NFTs here um, on some of this work. The pond, the pond. Very nice, these vases. Very nice, very nice. And they're reasonable prices, you know. You can add this to your gift of flowers to your lover or loved ones. Um, this is all stuff he said from October he did. From November, very recent work. Um, very nice, quite impressive here. And he even put a brush inside of this bag. Very nice. This is one of our gems here in Cleveland, Ohio. And um, he's gonna be here at this Paul Doobie Art Gallery. So why don't you come check him out?
You dig? No, for real. Seriously. Follow, like, and subscribe.